Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is my review for episode 9 of The Curse. So obviously spoilers, if you have not seen the episode, I'm going to be talking about it in all spoiler details. So if you've not watched The Cursed episode 9, go watch it and then come back. And yeah, so again, I'll say it again. I've said it a thousand times. This is the most uncomfortable show on TV. It just is. And this episode was no different. So much stuff happened this episode that just made me violently seek Asha. Makes me violently seek. And I think I'm finally understanding the premise of the show. Not the premise, but I guess the whole concept of the show is that Asha is the fucking curse. Asher, Asher makes me violently sick, physically, like, it makes me feel ill, how disgusting he is, like, it's just so fucking gross, the shit, like, every, everything he does gives me the ick, and it's really gross to see, like, you know, just one example, last episode, when he was talking to, um, I forget his name, but the guy who works at the coffee shop came in, and talked about, like, all the bullshit and stuff, and then fucking Asher kicks him out, and then says to Whitney, I'd take a bullet for you, it's like, uh, what the fuck are you doing? What are you saying? And then you... Oh my god, it was so disgusting. After they had the interaction with Tom... Is it Tom? Bob? I can't remember his name. I, yeah, I can't remember. I think it's Bob, right? Or Bill. No, it's Bill. Sorry, I don't know why I said Tom. Um, He has the interaction with Bo with Bill. Sorry. And um, is at the bowling alley and then comes home with Whitney. And Whitney hears him whispering to himself, like imagining an argument. Like, listen, we've all done the thing where we think about an argument we've had years ago and thought about what we would have said. But the way he's doing it is so gross. It's like he's a robot pretending to be a person and practicing how to be a person. It was really weird. Like he was he was saying disgusting things as well, saying stuff like, yeah, I bet you, I bet you want to fuck my wife. Like, it's just really weird. I want to watch you fuck my wife. Like, what the fuck? It was so fucking crazy. Like, oh my God, my jaw was on the floor listening and watching that scene. I felt, dis I felt sick. It was gross. But yeah, this episode, we really start to see Whitney and Ash's relationship unravel in ways we have been waiting for. I think next episode is the last episode. It's going to be so fucking weird. I'm really curious as to how they're going to wrap this up. I mean, so much has been leading up to this moment where their relationship is just finally unraveling and it's really disturbing to watch. It, that scene at the end after they watched the deleted cut of the pottery scene where Whitney's talking about how she hates how he's holding his phone with the stuff, uh, holding his phone with the, the clay pot and then just other things that annoy her and talking about the relationship and the longevity of it. And Asher just loses his mind. And it's really gross to see. But also, Whitney isn't not at fault here too because she's doing some really gross things by going back going behind um, Ash's back and sort of making him to be the massive joke of the show, making him seem pathetic. I think that's kind of, you know, again, not great, but it's very hard to like Asher because he's just not great. Like, neither of these people are ideal, but Asher is just really, really a strange human. Like, but yeah, their relationship, so much interactions between them are so uncomfortable. When they're out to dinner with the the lady from the network and he's like massaging her shoulder while she's talking and she just fucking brushes his hand off. It's like, ew. It's so fucking uncomfortable. Like, uh, and he's he, he doesn't know how to act. He's literally a robot pretending to be a human. And that's, that's a testament to Nathan Fielder and how fantastic he is and how fantastic Emma Stone is. I think Emma's doing such a fantastic job in this show that I'm forgetting that it's Emma Stone. It's like one of the best actors work, actresses working today, you know? Um, she just won a Golden Globe, which, you know, deservedly so. But still, it's just... She was even nominated for a Golden Globe for this and the show hasn't even finished airing and so that's that's a testament to just how great her performance was and honestly her performance in this episode especially at the end when asher is losing his mind is just spectacular like the look on her face and look on his face is just so disturbing and so fucking sad how 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 is this gonna end how is this gonna wrap up i'm praying that they get a fucking divorce i really am but yeah this show we're coming we're coming to its end now and it's just honestly been a show that's been so good. Like, it honestly has been so fun to watch. These awkward interactions are just, de like, delicious to watch. They really are. This They make for such a great and fun viewing, viewing experience. They really get you engaged. But, um, yeah, I've been loving the show. I really have. I think it's it's fantastic. It made my list for the um, best, for the top 10 best shows of the year for me, 2023, even though the f show uh, has not finished airing. It's just that good. But, yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens next episode with Dougie, with Whitney, with Asher. I mean, it's just that freak out at the end was so disgusting. The things he was saying were gross. And like saying he he will do the things she wants him to do before she even knows she wants him to do it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? And did he not hear her talking about 
how she hates that he she he worships her, right? It's very weird. But anyway, that's it from my review of episode nine of the curse. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.